Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to start a new topic, quadratics. Under this topic, we cover quadratic expression of the form ax square plus bx plus c. Moreover, we learn about how to locate vertex and axis of symmetry, how to convert this expression into a complete square form, and how to solve quadratic equations. Now let's start solving some questions. Here we have a question in which we have to find the vertex and the axis of symmetry. The question given here is y is equal to x plus 3 whole square minus 7. As we know that this expression is in a complete square form, so x plus 3 whole square is greater than or equal to 0. If we write this expression in the form y plus 7 is equal to x plus 3 whole square, we can say that x plus 7 is greater than or equal to 0 as this expression is greater than or equal to 0 or y is greater than or equal to minus 7. Similarly, for this value, x plus 3 whole square, if we equate it with 0, we will have x plus 3 is equal to 0 or x is equal to minus 3. So our vertex comes out as minus 3, minus 7 and axis of symmetry is minus 3, which is the value of x. Now look at another question, y is equal to 2x minus 3 whole square plus 1. As we know, 2x minus 3 whole square is greater than or equal to 0. So if we write this expression in the form y minus 1 is equal to 2x minus 3 whole square, we can say that y minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 or y is greater than or equal to 1. With this expression, 2x minus 3 is equal to 0, we will have 2x is equal to 3 or the axis of symmetry comes out as 3 over 2. Now we have vertex 3 over 2, 1 and axis of symmetry, x is equal to 3 over 2. Here we have another question, y is equal to 3x plus 7 whole square minus 4. As we know that this is a complete square form expression, so we equate 3x plus 7 whole square is greater than or equal to 0. And by writing this equation in the form y plus 4 is equal to 3x plus 7 whole square, we will have y plus 4 is greater than or equal to 0 or y is greater than or equal to minus 4. In order to find out the axis of symmetry, we have 3x plus plus 7 whole square is equals to 0 or 3x plus 7 is equals to 0 as the square root of 0 is still 0 if we take the root both side in order to remove the square then we have 3x is equals to minus 7 and x is equals to minus 7 over 3 so vertex comes out as minus 7 over 3 minus 4 and axis of symmetry is x is equal to minus 7 over 3. Here we have another question in the variable form y is equal to ax plus b whole square plus c. We have equated ax plus b whole square is greater than or equal to 0 and write our expression in the form y minus c is equal to ax plus b whole square. Now we can also write it as y minus c is greater than or equal to 0 or y is greater than or equal to c. For axis of symmetry, we have ax plus b whole square is equal to 0. By taking root on the both sides in order to remove the square, we have ax plus b is equal to 0 or ax is equal to minus b. Our axis of symmetry comes out as minus b over a and we have vertices as c and minus b over a. In this question, we have to find the least or if appropriate, the greatest value of quadratic expression and the value of x for which this occurs. Now here the question given is x plus 2 whole square minus 1 and then we know that this is a 
complete square form expressions. So y is equals to x plus 2 whole square minus 1. And as we know that this is a complete square form, so x plus 2 whole square is always greater than or equal to 0. So we can say that y is greater than or equal to minus 1. Now equate this expression x plus 2 whole square is equals to 0. In order to find out the value for which this situations occur, so we have by squaring, taking root both sides in order to remove the square, we have x plus 2 is equals to 0 or x is equals to minus 2. So for the value of x is equals to minus 2, we have y is greater than or equal to minus 1. As for this value, which is minus 2, this expression becomes 0 and y becomes greater than or equals to minus 1. Here we have another question. y is equals to 2x plus 1 whole square minus 7. As we know 2x plus 1 whole square is greater than or equal to 0. So we have y is greater than or equals to minus 7. And in order to find out the value of x for which this occurs, we will equate this expression with 0. And we have 2x plus 1 is equals to 0 or x is equals to minus 1 over 2. Here we have another question in which we have to solve quadratic equations and we have to leave search in our answers. The first question here is x minus 3 whole square minus 3 is equals to 0. First, we take this minus 3 to the right hand side and we have x minus 3 whole square is equals to 3. Taking squares, taking root on both sides in order to remove the square, we will have x minus 3 whole square under the root and root 3. Now this square is cancelled out with the root and we have x minus 3 and this can be written as plus minus root 3. And if we take this 3 to this side, which is the right hand side, we have positive 3 plus minus under root 3. And this is our answer. Here we have another question. 2 bracket x plus 3 whole square is equals to 5. First, we will take this 2 to the right hand side. Here it is multiplying with this expression. So when it comes here, it is going to divide with 5 and comes into the denominator. Now we take the root on both sides. This square cancels out with this root and we have x plus 3 is equal to plus minus root 5 over 2. If we take this 3 to the right hand side in order to find out the value of x we will have minus 3 plus minus root 5 over 2. And this is our answer. Now look at another question here. 3x minus 7 whole square is equals to 8. By taking root on both sides, we have 3x minus 7 whole square is equals to plus minus root 8. As we know, with the help of the factors, that the value of root 8 is Two under root two as they both making a pair so they come out of the root and only two remains in the root so we have 3x minus 7 is equals to plus minus 2 root 2 if we take this 7 to this side we have 3x is equals to 7 plus minus 2 root 2 and in order to remove this 3 from x we take it to the right hand side and shift it into the denominator, we have 7 plus minus 2 root 2 over 3. And this is our answer. 
we will look at some more questions regarding the topic of quadratics in our upcoming videos. Thank you.